Well, I remember being at a, a place of, of darkness, um, a place where if you didn't fit in and, and jive with the darkness that was going on around you, that you seemed to have no identity. That's where I found myself uh, growing up, um, trying to follow certain people and, and fit in. And it just so happened that, you know, dealing drugs and, and drugs was a part of um, that dark lifestyle. That lifestyle ultimately, down the road and in, in years of it, you find yourself at a place where I'm, I'm 25 years old, um, have nothing. Um, the people I looked up to, um, I'm either visiting them in jail or in prison or, or their lives are, are not amounting to uh, much. Um, through it all, I, I always seem to have some kind of sense of God. Um, it, I'm sure it was a distorted view of, of who He really is and, and how He really looks at me, but there always seemed to be a sense of God that, that was inside of me. But it was nothing I wanted to surrender to. I remember at 25 years old, I found myself um, at a place of hopelessness where I wanted to even take my own life. Um, where every relationship that was valuable to me, I um, brought destruction to it. And I remember taking a moment and looking around and seeing all the destruction that I caused um, within my family, uh, within my friends, with my whole life. And I'll never forget that moment of being so broken that I didn't even want to live anymore. I remember one night uh, being at a place of, of such depression and just walking the streets and I'll never forget it because it, it was about 11 p.m. on 23rd in Ohio here in Quincy when I was at the end of my rope, I, I was at the end of, of everything and I'll never forget getting on my face right on the corner um, of the block there and just crying out to God and saying, God, please help me. That, that was the only words I said to him. I'll never forget it because I went to bed that night and that next morning I woke up and there was something that was different inside of me. There was a change that was something inside of me and it was a desire to find him, find out who he is. And now I find myself uh, on a journey to find God but not just to find Him, but to come to know Him, to, to come to know Him um, as a Father. Uh, this journey has, has led me here at Grandview Church, um, where I can come and, and learn at a healthy place, a, a healthy place of ministry. And, and God has um, definitely put in order um, things for, for me to minister also. The Victorious Living Ministry it's such a blessing. It's a ministry I've been involved with for probably more than 10 years now and, and helped me to come out of those things that I found were uh, bondage and struggles in my life. Uh, it's an honor for me to be able to, to lead the Victorious Living Ministry here at Grandview. Um, the sole purpose is so that we can find our identity in Christ and grow in relationship with Him and understand that who we are is who God says that we are. I'm Tony Cunningham and I serve.